Hello everybody and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such, where the such stands for EDC gear. Today, on my recent video, I got a comment from a Boy Scout master and he said that he shows his troop all my videos. Well, I had a suggestion in my head that I would make a video about knives and the basics with each knife. So anyone who's a scoutmaster or a parent who wants to get their kids into knives can show the safety and basics of knives. And we will start with the CJRB Craig with um, the blade opens with this flipper tab has the liner lock that you press down and close the blade with with your fingers out of the way and no jimping on the flipper tab and there's a finger choil that you can choke up and do fine tasks this cleaver-esque style blade can be used for food prep in the kitchen and cardboard cutting and plastic packaging this knife is in D2 steel which will have to be oiled with knife oil and wiped down after each use so there will be no rust. The next knife will be the CJRB, um, CJRB kicker with the recoil lock. The way to open this is with this tab or flipper tab and then you close it with this thing which you push pull pull back which is the recoil lock that has a spring inside. You could open it with this and close it with this or do this and this. Both the CJRB Craig and CJRB Kicker both are in D2 steel which need to be oiled with knife oil and wiped on after each use so it doesn't rust and they're both cleaver-esque style blades. Next we're going to go to the CJRB Centros which you open with the left with the right or left thumb studs. It has a finger choil which is tinier but it has jimping on the spine of the blade where you can choke up and do fine cutting tasks. This is good for cutting cardboard, paper, some food prep and plastic packaging. The way to close this would be to press down the liner lock and then let the blade go down with your fingers out of the way. Remember, after each use of the blade and you um, put it away from you so you don't cut it and make sure you grab the handle when you're going to use it or close it and then reopen it. For this video, I'm just opening all the knives so you see them all at once. Next, we have the Civivi Bull Mastiff which opens with the flipper tab that has jimping on it. It has a finger choil which you can do fine tasks. And this knife can be used in the kitchen for food prep, cutting cardboard, plastic packaging, twine, sticks, twigs, and the, and the such. And all these knives that are open right now can do that, as well as most of the others, because this one we'll talk about later in the video. But this other knife is the Ruger CRKT LCK in 8CR 13 MOV steel. It has Jimping on the on the flipper tab has a finger choil for close-up cutting tasks, and it's really slicey knife. You can push the liner lock and close it. Also, this knife, this Civivi Bull Mastiff is in 9 CR 18 MOV, and the rest of this two and this is in D2 steel. This is 8CR 13MOV. Now we're going to go to the Buck Sprint Select, which is a USA made knife, which has a flipper tab with no jimping, no jimping on the spine, and has a nested liner like that you push down and close. It has bearings in the pivot system and is 420HC, which is high carbon steel, which would need to be oiled and wipe down after each use so there will be no rust. This blade shape is good for cutting cardboard, sticks, twine, rope, not thick, thick rope, 
then you can do some food prep if you so choose. But remember with D2 and 420HC needs to be oiled and wiped down. This handle is G10, 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 G10. This is glass filled nylon or just reinforced plastic. Glass filled nylon or reinforced plastic. And then we have um, this slip joint, the Boker Tech Tool Outdoor One, which has smooth G10 handles, kind of like my Carta, it feels like, but it's not. Has a glass breaker that you would use if you're in an emergency to break through a car window or through a house window if there's a fire, and you can do that. And the blade does not lock, so we will return when it's opened. As you can tell, this has a nail nick where you would pull it open and open the blade. But for purposes, you would do it all in one sweeping motion. And it would click or snap, which means it's um, in the open position. And you would hold it like this and use it and then close it with two hands because that's more safer. And the steel is 12C27N, which is Sandvik steel. And I really do like Sandvik steel, which also is in 14C28N. The pocket clip is really good, and overall holding of this knife is really, really good. But remember, it doesn't lock, so the more pressure you do, the more it could close on you. So watch out for that. It's not a heavy-duty knife. Now we have the Buck Light Max Small, which is a fixed blade. It can go in your belt from this loop. And go up, I mean upward or downward carry. Scout carry, which would be side to side, is way better because you can get out the blade easier and not have it against your hip when you're sitting down. Because when you sit down, this does feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I use it on the hip, on the side of my pants, when it's on the belt loop. You open it with the clasp. And you take it out from here. It has jimping on the spine, which is really good for no slippage. The handle is rubber composite, which makes it really grippable. And it has a lanyard hole if you want to attach a lanyard for extra grip around your wrist. And it's a buck knife, which means that it's 420HC steel, which you'd have to make sure about the oiling so it doesn't rust and wiping down after each use this knife is made in america and the package that i had from it which i still do says that it is a hunting knife so you could use this to cut a fish open or a squirrel if you were to hunt squirrel and eat it or small type of um, hunting type eating animals. And this knife, really reflective though, so I could say that you could use it in the survival instance where you need to reflect light off to get signal for help. And I really like this knife because I like buck knives and I believe that this knife is useful in an everyday carry situation. It's really sharp and really good. As with as with the thing with fixed blades, you'd have to put in the sheath and close it with the snap button so it does not cut you. The, the sheath is really, really durable and really well made.